1.1, identify the differences between ultrasound and sound in a normal hearing range. So you would have learned about sound and sound waves in the world communicates, and we're looking at the similar concept in our option topic for year 12. So sound is a mechanical wave or longitudinal wave that travels at the speed of around about 330 meters per second. Sometimes they have the number as 340 meters per second, but faster than other media. So being a mechanical wave, it requires a medium. So sound waves that can be heard by humans vary from individual to individual, but generally audible sound falls in the range between 50 hertz to 20,000 kilohertz, okay? Or sorry, 20 kilohertz or 20,000 hertz. Sound travels at the frequency above this upper limit called ultrasound. So in medical applications, the frequency used varies from about 1 to 20 megahertz. These ultrasonic waves can be transmitted reflected and refracted just like any other wave. Now you're going to learn about echolocation however I've just introduced this in this stop point here. So echolocation or an echo sounding is used to examine internal parts of the body in what is termed a non-invasive procedure meaning um, no harm to the patient or, or what is occurring inside the patient. So a short pulse is emitted from the ultrasonic device and the time taken from the, from the sound to be reflected from the internal organs is measured. Ultrasound can be used as a diagnostic way in giving three-dimensional images of an organ or developing fe fetus, which is the most common use of the ultrasound.